It has been a struggle, to say the least, when it comes to this early part of the season for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and more importantly for Jeffrey Dawkins III. Now, we're taking on the Colts in this one that have a record of 2-1. and one. Andrew Luck, he has been protecting the ball while Jeffrey Dawkins has been doing the opposite. He's been throwing the ball to the other team like it is the thing to do. The Jaguars come in with a record of 1-2. and two. The Colts are 2-1. and one. Jaguars, Colts, next. Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to the Jeffrey Dawkins Connect the Franchise. First play of the game. Give the ball to Maurice Jones Drew and it goes nowhere fast. Second and 11, JD drops back the pass. Gonna find Cecil Shorts over the middle, gain of 12, and that's gonna move the chains. First and 10, back the mojo on the ground. Trying to get around the outside, but the Colts defense is having none of that as he gets dropped for a one-yard loss again. Dawkins over the middle, finds eight Sanders, and eight Sanders picks up the first down. Gain of 15 on the play, and the Jaguars are marching this ball down the field. Second and 12, Jeffrey over the middle to Mercedes Lewis for another big first down. Gain of 24, and Jeffrey Dawkins is looking pretty good. First and 10, 32-yard line. Jake Deep drops back the pass, finds Mercedes Lewis, and Mercedes Lewis gets brought down inside the five. Down at the two-yard line, two catches, 55 yards on the drive so far. First and goal, Mojo up that guy. Gets in the end zone, touch down. Jaguars, do you dance, Mojo? Do you dance? The Colts, they tied this ball game up at seven apiece. J.D. leads the Jaguars off his back on the field. He's rolling on out, looking for somebody to throw the ball to, decides to take it himself, picks up a gain of three, and that's going to bring up second and seven from the 38-yard line. Dawkins drops back the pass. He's going to find Mercedes Lewis for his third catch of the ball game, and that's going to pick up another first down. First and 10 from the 49 now. J.D. looking. J.D. throwing, going to find Cecil Shorts, and Cecil Shorts off to the races inside the 10-5 touch. Down Jaguars and this offense is looking pretty impressive in the early going. JD is throwing the ball on target. These receivers are making plays after the catch. After another Jaguar stop, it's 13 to 7. After the PAT was missed by Scoby, but nonetheless, the Jaguars got the lead. 13 to 7 is the score. Second and 11. JD drops back the pass. Gonna find Mojo in the flat. Mojo's gonna turn that into a 10 yard gain. Needed 11, so we are inches short of the first down. On third and inches, JD looking. JD finding Justin Blackman. Justin Blackman breaking tackles. Finally gets pushed out of bounds by Freeman, but not until he picks up the first down. Move. Those chains, first and 10 from the 30. J.D. looking to throw the ball. This one's going to be intercepted by Vontae Davis. And Vontae Davis, the guy, has a solid return. And the Colts are going to take back over at the 37-yard line. Horrible pass right there by J.D. He did not read the coverage at all. You can see that Vontae Davis was sitting on the comeback route. But the Jaguars, we got the ball right back because the Jaguars' defense has been beasting and feasting all year long. Right there, if we find Cecil Shorts, that's his third catch of the ball game. First and 10 from the 25. Dawkins drops back. Screen pass to Mojo. Mojo gets up the left side of the field, and he's going to pick up the first down. JD's looking good. Third and 10 now from the 41. Over the middle, going to find Mercedes Lewis again. And Mercedes Lewis is beating this second day like they stole some. Very next play though, on second and 10. We're going to get sacked by big Robert Mathis. The Jaguars' old line has had problems all season long protecting Jeffrey Dawkins. Third and 19, J.D. tries to throw the ball to, over the middle to Cecil Shorts, but that pass hits the grass, and that's going to do it for the first half. Jags 13, Colts 7, second half is up next. Third and two now from the 28-yard line. J.D. drops back the pass, looking for a man. He's on the run, and Cecil Shorts with the one-hand snag, moving those chains. Jaguars faithful, they're loving it right now. Third and 13, over the middle, trying to hit Justin Blackman, but that pass is going to hit the grass, and the Colts are going to take back over. Unfortunately, the Colts were unable to get anything going on their drive. So the Jags take over at the 20-yard line. Over the middle, going to find a Sanders. Gain of 25. Nice pass by J.D. Nice catch by Sanders. Third and fourth, dropping back the pass to J.D. Under pressure, but he's going to stay. He's going to stand strong in the pocket. Take a hit. Find Justin Blackman over the middle for yet another first down. Ball is on the 39. Going to find Mojo. Setting up the screen. Picks up a block. Going to dip out of bounds, but not until he picks up a fresh 
first down, first and 10 for these Jags, and the Colts are having a hard time stopping this passing game. Third and second and 13. Now JD rolls out. JD's gonna throw it on the run, gonna find A. Sanders, picks up a gain of nine on third on second and 13, making it third and four. JD over the middle to Mercedes Lewis, picks up the first down, gain of nine, move those chains. Fourth quarter now. Bubble screen to Justin Blackman. Picks up a couple of blocks. Should have stayed to the outside. Probably had a touchdown. Nonetheless, he's going to move those chains. But again, stays to the outside. Probably is in there doing his dance right now. First and 10 from the 24-yard line. Maurice Jones Drew picks up a block. Wiggles through the hole. Gets it to the end zone. Touch down Jaguars. And the Jaguars are going to take a ninth. Team to seven lead. Check out my man's dance moves. He needs to be on Dancing with the Stars. Let's go. So the Colts, they pick up a field goal. 19 to 10 is the score. JD drops back the pass. He's going to squeeze that one in there to Cecil Shorts. Not the best pass in the world, but Cecil Shorts brings it down, moves those chains. Second and six from the 38-yard line. Jeffrey Dawkins drops back the pass. He's going to find Cecil Shorts yet again. Six catches, 97 yards for Cecil Shorts. 49-yard line, two-minute warning. Second and five. Gives the, the, the call is to Mojo. Trying to get around the outside. He cannot. The Colts are going to burn the timeout. Third and five with the Jags going to put in the air. Yes, they will. Jeffrey drops back. Find Cecil Shorts over the middle. Takes a big-time hit, but hangs on to the ball. Picks up a big first down. Third and nine, a minute 07 to go. Got to get this first down and put this game on ice. Screen pass to Maurice Jones. Drew does just that, and that is going to do it. All the Jaguars have to do is take a knee. JD in the victory formation snaps the ball, takes a knee. This ball game is over. So the Jaguars, they're going to move on to two and two. At the start of the season off, one and two. The Colts, they are going to go two and two at the start of the season, two and one. If we can keep this momentum going, that is going to be a big time deal because we will have to see the Colts another time this season. In, in Indianapolis, JD did his thing. Colts go down 10 to 19. Jags pick up the win on to week number five. We are live in St. Louis for week number five at the Rams Dome, taking on those St. Louis Rams. Jeffrey Dawkins leads the Jaguars in with a record of two and two. It has been an up and down season for Jeffrey Dawkins. Sometimes he looks really good, sometimes he looks really bad. Hopefully he can look really good in this week five showdown. Second and six over the middle, finds Mercedes Lewis moves those chains. Second and ten, looking for somebody to pass the ball to, finds Justin Blackman over the middle on the slant pattern, picks up a gain of 16 and right now Jeffrey Dawkins is looking pretty good first and 10 drops back the pass come back right to Cecil Shorts gonna pick up the first down gain of 20 on the play third and five now JD drops back the pass gonna find Blackman in the middle of the field on another slam pattern and that's gonna pick up another first down first and 10 under pressure and Robert Quinn gets the sack his first sack of what could be many him and him and Chris Long might have a field day versus this old line of the Jaguars Third and seven, J.D. drops back the pass, looks over the middle. That's going to be intercepted by Johnson, and he's off to the races. J.D. is giving chase. J.D. is catching up, but Johnson's inside the 25, down at the 24-yard line. Finally gets pushed out by J.D. Here comes Sam Bradford, five TD, seven interceptions on the early part of the season. Now, the Rams, they were able to get a field goal on their drive, and now it's time for us to match them score for score. Find a Sanders gain of 13. First and 10 from the 39, y'all on. Looking for a man, that's Cecil Shorts, and Cecil Shorts picks up the big first down. Second catch for Cecil Shorts of the first quarter. Move on to the second quarter. My man Mojo on the screen pass gets brought down for a six yard loss. This Rams defense is not playing around. Second and 16, going deep, and that's gonna be intercepted by TJ McDonald, and the rookie out of USC makes Jeffrey Dawkins pay for that one. Threw the ball over the middle, trying to hit A. Sanders on the post route, but TJ steps right in front of that. The Rams were unable to do anything on that drive as the Jaguars D is stingy, but the Rams defense is even stingy as, Ra as Robert Quinn gets his second sack of the first half. Third and 12 now, JD's going to roll out. JD's looking for somebody to throw the ball to. He's, he decides to tuck it and run, breaks the tackle, but that's not going to be enough for the first down, and the Rams take over again. The Rams pick up a touchdown. 10-0 is the score. 
before we find Mojo in the flat. And Mojo picks up the first down before he dips out of bounds. She got the numbers. Sam Baffert, no TDs, but no interceptions. Jeffrey Dawkins, no TDs, but two interceptions. We're going to have to turn that thing around and maybe try and do this comeback thing. So first and 10 now after the first down was picked up. We're going to throw the ball over to Mercedes Lewis, and he's going to pick up the first down. Down, J.D. going to his favorite target once again. First and 10. Over to the right side, going to find Justin Blackman. Picks up the first down, and now Jeffrey Dawkins is looking very good. First and 10. Over to the right side, going to find Mercedes Lewis. Gets brought down two yards short of the first down. So now it's second and two, 17-yard line. Dropping back the pass, decides to tuck it and run, and he's going to pick up the first down. Gets brought down by Robert Quinn, but not until he picks up three yards. First and 10. Under pressure, looking for somebody to throw the ball to. He decides to take it himself, and Jeffrey Dawkins is to the crib using his athleticism using his talents with his legs to pick up not only the first down, but getting into the end zone, picking up a touchdown, and that's how it's going to end the first half. 10-7, Rams are on top. Second half is up next. Third and one, J.D. drops back the pass, looking for a man. See, so shorts just got decapitated on that one, but it's okay because he picked up the first down. Check out the replay. Check out the hit. My man just got closed line. Second and five, J.D. throws the ball to Mojo. Mojo picks up the first down, picks up a block, makes the man miss, dips out of bounds, but not until he picks up a brand new first down. Third and six from the seven-yard line. Over the middle in the end zone. Touch. Down, Jags, touchdown, Justin Blackman, J.D. threw a strike right there. 14 to 10 is the score. Third quarter, minute 15 to go. J.D. gets away from the rush. J.D. on third and nine, picks up the first down, using his legs, and Coach Fisher can't believe it. Second and 10, J.D. drops back the pass, looking for Cecil Shorts, and Cecil Shorts over the middle, picking up the first down on the comeback route, doing his thing. Looking to pass is Jeffrey. Over the middle, throws an interception straight into the hands of Alec Ogletree. And the Rams are going to take over at the 40-yard line. Unfortunately, again, the Rams were unable to produce on their drive after a turnover. Jaguars defense is stepping up big. Maurice Jones-Drew is stepping up big. First down, Jags and the Jags are moving the ball down the field again. Looking to pass, Jeffrey over the middle. Hits Ace Sanders, could have been intercepted again, but Ace Sanders builds out his quarterback right there. Ball is on the 48-yard line, and now it gets pushed back to the 38-yard line as Robert Quinn gets not one, not two, not three, but his fourth sack of the ball games. Now it's third and 10. Over the middle, third and 20, excuse me, over the middle. Try to hit A. Sanders, but that pass hits the grass as he got hit in the back. And again, the Rams can't do nothing with it. So second and one turns into third and five as Sims gets to Jeffrey Dawkins, who looks shaky sitting in the pocket. Third and five, J.D. drops back the pass. J.D. finds Mercedes Lewis, and Mercedes Lewis picks up another first down, and the Jags are doing their thing. 2.18 to go in the ballgame. Reese Jones-Drew on the ground, breaks the tackle, picks up the first down, ball is placed at the 31-yard line. Nice call right there by the offensive coordinator, and nice execution by this Jaguars O-line. Third and eight, they keep the ball on the ground. That goes nowhere. Probably didn't want to put the hands in Jeffrey Dawkins' hands because we all know he's been playing shaky. The kick is up, and the kick by Scobie is good. 17 to 10 is the score. And once again, the Rams were unable to do anything on the drive, and that's going to do it. The Rams have plenty of opportunities to take this one away from the Jaguars. Jeffrey Dawkins did not play his best game by any means. He threw three interceptions. The O-line was giving up sack after sack, but the Rams were unable to get anything going. The Jaguars defense stepped up once again. The Jaguars defense has kept the Jaguars as a team in every single ball game that they have played uh, thus far. If Jeffrey Dawkins can step up his game just a little bit, if the O-line can block just a little bit better and produce some more points, then the Jaguars should be on their way to having an excellent season. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm out. Peace. Hi, son.